And we have returned. Premium format, Scarlet Witch. It's a 1-4 scale. Quarter scale, I think it looked fantastic. On the... At the time, they revealed it, okay? You can see they're a little... Ripping up Ultron or one of his little minions. Very cool. Very powerful Avenger. I'm just going to open it. I want to see what the hell this is all about. I think Gem Min did a really cool one. A review on her already. Um, so if you want something that's more, you know, a real review, go there. This is just a quick, quick um, unboxing to show you what you get. I know I got a couple of these left. And uh, enough talk. Let's open okay, it. I'm going to try my best to hold this thing together. Meaning the camera as steady as possible. I'm, I'm I gotta hold it and move it around because she's pretty tall. She's a tall piece. Look at the beauty. This is definitely the comic book version of Scarlet Witch. If you're looking for Olsen, it's not it. MCU, this is not it. But those who grew up with uh, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, X Men, Magneto, anything mutant, Scarlet Witch in the Marvel comics, this is the statue for you. If you like soft goods. This is the statue for you. If you don't, you're going to hate it because <laughs> it is a massive velvet cloak, cape, wire, velvety. I can see dust going on it if you don't uh, uh, take care of it uh, piece. So if you if you like soft goods, you're good, good shape. If you don't and wish this was a sculpted cape, then, um, you know, whatever. She's uh, ripping Ultron in half. It's very cool here. This piece, I think, my opinion, is meant to be displayed up high. So let me go low here. Boom. See? Sorry, I'm moving this thing. I hope I don't... Let me back up a little bit here for you, too. This is what she looks like. This is, this is her height. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It is a beautiful piece. It is beautiful. Sideshow is incredibly good at female portraits. Very elegant. And anatomy too, maybe. So she's got her hex power, mutant ability, magic, whatever you want to call it, ripping up Ultron in this whirlwind of um, whatever you want to call it. And she is a quarter scale. I have one left of these, and that's it. There's no, I have no complaints of the statue. Now, I am terrified of these two pieces, especially this one. This one right here, my God, it's like a peg almost. There's supposed to be a magnet in here. I feel the magnet, but it's kind of weak. And this whole thing is one piece. Very well balanced, but man, I'm terrified. Do not move this statue without taking off these arms. It's gonna fall on you. Here's Ultron. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Show you a little bit more. Everything is poly sewn. I didn't feel anything plastic. Even her face has this incredible Looks like it's almost rubber, but it is polystone. I saw Jem Mint's a review on her, and he had a little bit with her teeth. Uh, I see what he's talking about, but it's not. I don't think it's an incredibly bad thing at all. It's it's almost like um, it's almost like a doll. He, he is right with it, but it's not. Uh, it's not really not a break, you know, a deal breaker. There's a whirlwind of hexing chaos, whatever probability she has the ability to change probability though i remember her from doing that but i'm sure she's got a million more powers now once again that's what she looks like interesting how her skin looks huh look at that her skin color is completely different huh because that's not skin guys that's like a suit i gotcha anyways <laughs> you got more statues coming i got so many it's stupid it is snowing outside stay warm be safe guys and thank you postal workers for busting your ass out there. All right, see you guys.